welcome to uh, the video. My name is Mark Davis and I'm a nature and landscape photographer. And I thought I'd bring you along on some of these journeys I go on. And maybe you'll see a little bit about Japan you probably wouldn't normally see. Today we're up at Mount Asama. Uh, Mount Asama is an active stratovolcano in western Japan. I believe it's in Nagano Prefecture. It's right on the border. It's either Nagano or Guma. Uh, but it's a it's it's got an amazing view from what I've seen and the research that I've done on it. I've actually been here twice before and I've been skunked both times. But today looks very promising and I've been passing uh, some Japanese hikers coming out and saying that it's it's visible but it's a mountain so things can change rapidly. So come along and I'll take you on this trip. Maybe we can learn something. All right. been a grind climbing this thing in the snow definitely want to make sure you have the appropriate footwear if you're going to climb a Sama in the winter you're going to need crampons and snowshoes that's for sure because it is it is rough it's beautiful though I mean all kinds of photography compositions. I, I wish I had more time, but I've got to. I got to get to the top. I like to give myself at least an hour to work out some compositions, and I've got about an hour of daylight left, so I got to get moving. All right. See you in a few minutes at the top. I saw me here. It's actually an active volcano, so along the route they've got concrete safety, uh, I don't know what you call it, a safety shelter, just in case you're on the trail and this thing goes off, you can, if you're lucky enough to make it to the shelter, you can ride it out until you can be rescued, but uh, so far it's pretty impressive, it's my first time actually seeing it in person, like I said, I've been skunked a few times <clears throat> coming up here so all right I'm gonna get it on up here to my spot I'm almost there and get set up I've got about I think about 45 minutes before I should expect some color in the sky start popping off if it's going to all right Alright, so I've made it to my spot and I think I've worked out my composition for this evening. So if you'll take a look, Mount Asama kind of sits in this bowl and it's actually framed quite nicely if you can see. We've got this mountain over here, I don't know the name of this mountain, uh, a lot of character to it. And it kind of frames in this bowl Mount Asama well and I've been after this winter image two years now finally I can see Asama and there's actually clouds in the sky so we should catch some light hopefully I don't care if it does or not 
uh, finally actually getting to be here and see it is it's worth everything. I'll show you what I'm looking at on the back of the camera. You can see that or not. Again, I'm just using the contour. I've got these lines over here in the snow that will contrast nicely and give me some uh, leading lines. You know, everything kind of swoops from right to left for me. And yeah, I kind of like it. So hopefully everything works out. It has so far. Uh, remember, the adventure is not over until you're back home. Okay, so it's easy to get wrapped up in doing this, getting here, taking the image, and then on the way back you can have a mishap and you gotta take care of yourself, all right? All right, I'm gonna wait on the color and we'll see what happens, all right? I couldn't have asked for a better... I'll show you the photos. Uh, I did a time lapse as well, but the color really kicked off. These really saturated pinks. I had a lot of light over here. It's like a like really red glow. It started over here initially, and then it just started to ex explode behind it. And still, there's still a lot of pink in the air, but I, I need to get off this mountain because uh, I am I'm freezing and I'm hungry. And I need to get home. But man, look at this view. That's what I'm talking about. This is why I want to show you Japan. It's it's beautiful. So if COVID ever loosens its grip on the world and Japan opens up, I would highly suggest coming to Japan and, and doing some exploring. And I'll do another video on how I uh, how I find locations like this. It's probably similar to what you do back in the States or wherever you're from. Uh, but it takes a lot of research and I, I enjoy that just as much as I do coming out take, taking pictures. I, I guess I'm weird like that. Okay, let me get off this mountain. And uh, I'll show you some of these images from the day. Take care. <laughs>